starting off on the E1 panel then. Um, it's the same panel that's normally up on the um, above the driver's head, but now they put it on the dash. Um, all the buttons are the same. The only different one is there's a CCTV button where um, it must be checked on the on the driver's vehicle check. So CCTV button's not shown at the moment. So if you press more, it comes up on the top left-hand um, corner, and to view the CCTV, um, that will give you a picture. Uh, from every camera um, showing the angle that it's looking. If any of those aren't working they need to be reported to workshop straight away uh, and then turn it off because you don't want it on while you're driving. Uh, moving down the dash you've got the heater control in the center so that's just your temperature, that's your fan and there's the positions, recycled heat and your aircon as well. This little bank here all for the cab lighting front and rear um, also taking controls away from the back if you wanted to take them take them away. Um, you've then got your traction control button so if you needed to use the uh, the diff lock which shows up on the dash there you go um, you can actually see that the diff locks in and remember to always take the diff lock back off when you finish with it. Moving across handbrake as normal no difference there you've got your hazard warning these buttons here for adjusting your clock, uh, brightening and dimming the, uh, the dash. Moving down you've got your PTO, just a single press of the PTO and then you've got your battery guard um, which is normally um, it's just a different shape with a little green light compared to um, all our others. The reverse horn, um, the um, silence button is there and then moving across to the dash, you're, um, you've got the miles per hour on the outside of the dial and um, then we've got the all the menu which is on the steering wheel so it's the circle that gives you your settings so you can change whichever you need you can change the performance mode from economy to power change it again, fuel consumption, just like computers in the cars these days, gives you everything that's going on with the engine management. Um, to go back at any time you just press the arrow on the on the dash, on the uh, steering wheel and then you can scroll through whatever you want to do with the, with the uh, settings. Okay. Um, down to the right hand side of the dash you've got your um, button for the workshops when they tilt in the cab and then further down you've got the um, buttons for adjusting your suspension so raise the rear raise the front lower the rear lower the front and then your reset buttons that is always the reset button there with the two arrows pointing at each other and that will level it completely and just remember that if you have adjusted it you must have it level again for all the um, safety systems to work correctly just moving over to the right hand side for a while all your lighting has moved from the dash to the door so you've got all your working lights, driving lights, fog lights and your main um, side lights headlight and then you can have an automatic automatic um, will obviously put your headlights on once it, uh, the light levels drop just remember that if you've got it on automatic as soon as the lights come on you're going to lose your flashing headlights moving down you've got heated mirrors which is your first button and then all six mirrors can be adjusted using this panel here so that's your two main ones so your large everyday mirrors, then your two uh, wide angle and then your uh, curb mirror on the near side and your cyclops mirror can all be adjusted so all six mirrors are adjustable. One touch window uh, buttons, raising and lowering the window so it's just one touch and let go. And then the main change as well is the retarder so on your gear stick on your gear selector. So the gears are the same as, as the 68 and the 16s with a collar and put it in but the retarder needs to be 
in this position so the green uh, background showing and then it can be adjusted from one to five driver training are recommending it's left in the auto position on position two